Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and today we're talking about instruction manuals. Yeah, I know, some of you guys are thinking, hey, we're men, we don't need manuals. True, some things are so simple, you don't need a manual. However, sometimes things get pretty complicated and you can't help having to look something up. Now, a lot of times when you buy something, it'll come with a paper manual. That's great. I keep these, I put them in a in a tote back in a back closet, but I rarely look at them. Probably the only time I use a paper manual is to go when I go to sell the item. I generally go to the manufacturer's website and look it up. Now this isn't just for my camping and backpacking and hiking equipment and my firearms, things like that. This is for everything I own, my vehicles, my appliances, my computers, my cameras, my you know printer and my modem, everything that I buy. I try to find the manual for it. That way, at least I have access to the original information from the manufacturer. So I'll go to the manufacturer's website, look to see if they offer it in their support or upload or download section, whatever they call it. And if they don't have it available, I will contact them. Say, do you have a electronic version of the instruction manual? Usually, if they send it to me, it is in a PDF format, but sometimes they send, me, send it to me as a JPEG or some other weird format. I will convert that to a PDF. I upload it to a directory that's in my hard drive on my desktop. That is tied to my cloud account. It gets downloaded onto my laptops. It gets, gets downloaded onto my cell phone, and it gets downloaded to all my tablets. So whenever I upload it to my desktop, it's automatically spread throughout all my platforms. One thing to notice, or one thing that you want, want to make sure of is when you download the electronic version, a lot of times it will have a really weird name kind of like this. And if you save it under that file, several years from now, you're not going to remember what the heck that is. So I would strongly recommend that you rename that file into what it actually is, the actual item make, uh, brand, model, and what it is, like Nikon D600 camera, instead of some weird, archaic, no, you know, nonsensical file name. And that way you can at least search for it. If there is no electronic version available, and it's something simple like these paper copies, this is a Murata Kelty that I bought a couple years ago, and I can't find a, a, a uh, electronic version of this, I will take this and put it in my flatbed and scan it in and convert the files into a PDF. And again, put that on my desktop in a certain file folder, which automatically gets spread out through all my devices. The reason I do the cloud-based version is if I go to sell something and I sell this item and I send the paper copy with it, I can sit there and, de and delete it off of any device and it gets deleted off of all my devices. Now, this may seem like it takes a lot of work. Yes, this is something I've been doing for probably about 20 years, is keeping the paper copies. And it isn't just, like I say, it isn't just my camping and backpacking and firearms and things like that. It's my vehicles, uh, my appliances, everything that I have. If there's a manual for it, I've got access to it, either paper and or electronic version. So that's the tip is to, Slowly start organizing your paper copies. Get online when you have a chance. Look up those electronic versions. Take the time to scan in the paper copies if you can't find an electronic version. And that way you have access to all that information that the manufacturer has originally supplied for these products. So this is Backpack Hack. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share on my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail.